And we are live again. Take two. Take two this time. A week um, later. A week later. How's our battery well, looking? Our, our battery, oh, well, you know what? This isn't on, so I don't know if anyone could have heard us just then. Oh, whoops. Okay, so I, the microphone level should be fine. Um, welcome, our battery level right now uh-huh. is 58% available. Okay. Plugged in. Okay. Not charging. Not charging. Not Why? charging. Don't know what's going on, Rita. Um, Hi, Rita. Because this is a for some reason this plug doesn't charge it. Interesting. It doesn't charge it, but it doesn't. But it it's plugged in. Hmm. So we should not lose. Okay. This cord is why we are here tonight. This cord was not available last week, and therefore our show got interrupted. Or was it just the cord? I don't think it was just the cord. It was not just a cord. I'm Christopher Balzano. I'm Natalie Chris. And welcome to Tripping on Legends Live. This is the Ghostly Hysteria Part 2. Um, so we should start Part 2 if you weren't here for Part 1. Last week we were hitting on all cylinders. You really think so? I think it was... Uh, did you listen to it? No. I've published it. So okay. if you haven't, if you're subscribed, you should be able to I'll listen to it. So last week we were talking about this idea that things happen when you're actually out in the field, whether it's for an investigation or legend trip, and they have really um, important significance. I don't know if that's redundant, uh, but is. they have a significance when you're in the field, and then when you get out of the field and you're telling people about it or you're thinking about it, you start going, was it really something paranormal or am I just making minnows into whales? Right. To quote Dr. Seuss. And so we were talking about this, and we were talking about, we were actually in a segment where we were talking about batteries dying. Was that what we were talking yeah. about? Wow, I'm pretty that's sure we pretty were. crazy. And Mysterious Forces, as Rita says, uh, shut down the broadcast. Completely. Completely. And we had, what, like 45% battery we had 40, on? We, we began 48%. Mm -hmm. And as we were talking, I looked, and it was 44%. So I did a test this week of seeing how long, really? yes, seeing okay. how long 44% lasts. How long did it last? So I'm not sure if you want to show your shirt right now, but she's wearing a Gilmore Girls shirt. <laughs> if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with Gilmore Girls, so it's funny she has a shirt. Um, watching episodes of Gilmore Girls, not plugged in. Yeah. So Netflix, uh, high volume, streaming, all that kind of stuff, 44 lasted over two hours. Oh. 40, 40, 44%. And I tested it on three consecutive nights. And so I was like, you know what? There's really stuff I want to do right now, but I got to watch Gilmore Girls <laughs> to conduct this test the right way. So watch the Gilmore Girls. Wait. Karen asks, what is that horrible hooded thing standing behind you? That would be my future slowly creeping <laughs> up um, do you the see dark forces that are. And so, um, that's, that's you know, uh, and, and Rob just joined. And so Rob, what Rob said to us uh, when we posted and he said, we'd love to get more interaction, is to, to post questions at the beginning. So to talk about things that we want you guys to respond to. So as we've talked, if you've watched the first episode, if you haven't watched the first episode, what I want you guys who are in the audience to tell us tonight as we talk, and we're going to go over a few more that are kind of connected, things that we might have forgotten. Okay. Um, I didn't get to the end, so I'm not sure if we covered the Devil's Tree stuff, but I think we did that pretty well. I think well. we did, yeah. Um, but what are things that you've experienced in the field that, or even in your house or whatever, that um, had significance when it happened? And then kind of in the light of day, it seemed a lot less serious. In significance, meaning you were like, oh my God, this is crazy. Totally one of those flip out moments where you're right, like, I right. can't believe I'm getting this sign or I can't believe this is happening. <clears throat> you see a bird and you're you're talking about birds or whatever the case is. Right, right. You go to birds. Um, I know I had, I had several bird experiences this week. I told you about the birds that were on the... Natalie, for my first birthday, we were together, bought me oh, yes. a, a little thing and there were two birds perched on it. I've had it for three years. I've never yeah. seen birds perched on it. And it was a finch. What the hell's up at Florida Finches? Don't know anything about it. And a cardinal. Oh, yeah, that's right. And a cardinal has a lot of significance. And so sure. it made me think like, oh, wait a minute. This is saying we've got to go do this live show again because you are obviously the cardinal and I am obviously the finch. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, I, don't know why, I, don't know, I don't know why I'm the finch, but you're definitely the cardinal. No, because you have a better connection to cardinals. Oh, okay. So right. you're a little cardinal obsessed. 
Um, so what we want you to do guys is, is to share out, um, but also I want to suggest to you guys, um, if we were to do this again, not necessarily this topic, right? Definitely not this topic again, but if we were to do this again, live show, which, we, which we've been trying to do every other thing. Every other week, yeah. Um, would you want us to do it on the phone as opposed to the computer? Do it on the phone so that oh. um, we can bring you in so you on the can... conversation. Would you be willing to come on and actually speak on air um, about some of the topics that we would have? Would they have to be video or would it just be audio? I, I think it brings them in audio and video and then okay. boom, splits the screen. I don't know who at like 10 o'clock is like, yeah, I want to be on video because I don't. <laughs> I, to be honest with you, I don't really want you on video either. Uh -oh. But um, but but the audience seems to want you. Um, so I want to talk about um, I want to talk about power. Okay. Because like power, like the Almighty, or power like electricity. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. Um, the power of the Almighty. No, like electricity, right? Okay. Uh, because we were talking about that, but there were a few things that I wanted to talk about because it seems to be, and I think this is the, the this is what we were saying as it goes down. We were talking about how <clears throat> losing power has become the symbol of the paranormal. Right. How do you know it was haunted? All my batteries went dead. Right. Right? And the amount of batteries that we take into the field is ridiculous. Right? I bring not only probably 20 pounds worth of batteries, batteries that we don't even have. Like, I bring I bring C batteries. We don't have anything that has C batteries. <laughs> Why I do still you bring the batteries. Bring? You never know. <laughs> that is why. But I also, never knew that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like brought random batteries. Yeah, I have one of those big 9-volt batteries. You know. But then I bring two Pokemon phone chargers because it's so like – because I'm like, oh, in the field, we can just – if they could all kill our phones, we can just charge the phones A with the – Pokemon phone? <clears throat> they were on sale. Okay. <laughs> so like I think, it was, I think it was like two Easter's ago. They were on sale for like a dollar, and I was like – it's a phone charger. Who gives a shit? Like it's an instant phone charger. So oh, like one of those power banks. Is right, what you're talking right, right, right. About. Gotcha. Do you think I actually just had like a Pokemon that had a? Yeah, I wasn't anyway. Really sure. So we tend to think of loss of power as a sign of the paranormal, mm -hmm. and the funny thing is, is that we can't. We, we did, everyone's got their own explanation for it, which says they 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 um, make sense in science, but they're also conflicting ones. Like it needs power, it absorbs power, all these different things. But let's not talk about the scientific, because science sucks. Science is awesome. Um, so let's talk about instead the idea of, of you lose power at a, at a moment. Do you think us losing power was a sign? Last week? Yeah. 100%. Like you thought that losing... But what was it, what was it a sign of? What, is a, what was it a sign of? You guys are going in too deep, I don't want you talking about this, or was it just the thing that you kept seeing... Go Which I can't see. So Natalie has turned down the lights to see to experiment whether or not uh, I will see it if the lights aren't on. But then she positioned herself perfectly so that her head is in the way. So I really can't see anything there anyway. <laughs> just so you know. I'll just move this way. So I can't see. <laughs> no, because then that gets you off to get back on camera, girl. Um, so the other the other part of this. So let's talk about power. Okay. Um, and. Well, give me some instances where we I, I, where we lost power besides well, I wanna, last week. I want to talk about first. I want to talk about um, probably the the best example I have. Okay. Which is, um, and so we're totally going to. I want you to make sure you capture Doreen's question, and we'll totally address it after this okay. whole thing. Um, the the thing that should not be named. So we're really tempting okay. fate right now because already we have a history of doing this show and having it shut down. Right, and so um, for those of you guys who don't know, I was um, approached to write the biography of um, Butch DeFeo, Ronnie DeFeo. Many people might not know who that is. Is there anyone in this audience <laughs> who doesn't know who the DeFeo family is? Um, and I wasn't approached by him. I was approached by uh, by Jackie Barrett, who ended up uh, not giving me the project and uh, who wrote um, evil like me I think it's called okay. I don't know. we'll have to look that up um, just look up Jackie Barrett on Amazon it's really good it's a really good thing um, and as soon as she approached me about um, about doing this project it's the Amityville horror but I was trying not to say the word but it's the Amityville horror no, um, just... the guy who killed his family actually and he used to call me at night from from his cell phone with no name attached to it, but it would just say like the prison oh, where he was creepy. in, stuff like that. Um, 
And almost instantly, I, would, I was getting dark figures in my house. I was getting like weird things that were happening, weird smells. Jackie had some of her animals die, um, right. which was which was tragic. From then on, whenever spooky South Coast, or whenever I would be having just talking to someone on the phone, it was sometimes a radio interview. I believe uh, Dave Schrader, who does um, who does um, what do you call it, the Night in the Night Desert. Desert. Midnight in the Death. It's amazing, you know, that I've I had know. such a negative influence on you. you really we were on his show once and we talked about it. The power goes out. Hmm. Whenever we talk about the Amityville Horror case, I'm really tempting fate now because I want to see if it happens. The power goes out. Interesting. Right? I literally tried three times to record the documentary featuring Jackie Barrett where she uh, takes the demon out of Ronnie DeFeo. All three times, the power went out in the house during the showing of the documentary, and so I couldn't DVR it. Wow. Now, that seems like a significant thing because of where it's aligned, right? We live in Southwest Florida. Right. The odds of the power going out at any given time is really high. Some, it depends where you are. Like, okay. I have pretty stable power. I don't, right, but I don't, I don't live anywhere there. near you. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. Right. So... Well, that's one of those things where we, we put such a significance on the power and it's like, maybe it's coincidence. Maybe we're getting excited. Maybe we're right. that the power goes out. And then what happens is there are at least five or six times we've done it and where it hasn't gone out, but it's an overwhelming theory, thing that you get where you say like every single time I even think Amityville horror demons come out of my windows. Like, and it's not right. So we make these, we make these minnows out of whales, whales out of minnows, minnows into whales. Hey, your TV just turned on. That's weird. And there's a man staring at me. There's a man staring at you. There's a man staring. <laughs> man from Iron Man staring at me. Um, okay. So you know, I I, I always wanted to um, I always want to to get a straight thing on why that would happen. Like that ghosts need power. Ghosts need to, or is it a sign? Like they can ease most easily impact power, and so power shutting off or power being drained. I guess I've never thought about that before. That they can most easily impact power. Do you think it's something to do with the wavelength that they're on? Something. Like well, I think that? it's really hard to push a person. Right. Right. But if you are electricity, if you exist in waves, then imp affecting waves would be the easiest thing. Right. You know, like when we get recordings, uh, like for EVPs or something like that, we're not getting ghosts actually on tape, we're getting electromagnetic waves. We're getting sound waves that they might be able to produce. Hmm. So, um, and then the second power one for me was my birthday. Remember my birthday? Remember you came over and surprised me for my birthday? Yes, but I don't remember the And then power. you left and I did a live show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did a live mm -hmm. show, and, and, and this is, I can't remember what the topic was because it's since been deleted. But I remember it was something controversial. It was something that I was like, and I was once again, like we were last week, like really into thick of it. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. I was actually, I think using, I might've been using Black Betty at the time. No, I was pre Black Betty. Okay. And all the power in my house went out. So when the power in my house goes out, um, the internet doesn't come on for at least a half hour. So I had to scrap everything. Wow. And But again, the power is not stable at your house. Right, right. So, but at the time it meant so much to me because we were talking, I was talking about something controversial. Oh, wait, I was when was into the dishwasher it. incident? Do you want to explain the dishwasher incident then? I'm not, I think they know. We talked about we, that Have we before. talked about the dishwasher? I'm pretty sure. I don't sure. think we've, you, to explain my dishwasher. I don't remember when it happened. It happens at significant times now. It happens like at least once a week now. Oh. To the point that I actually have like something in it so that it gets impossible for it to, and it still does. Hmm. So I have a dishwasher I have never used ever in the history of being in this house. Four years, I've never used this dishwasher. And we were always commenting on, why don't you use your dishwasher? The dishwasher, what about the I'm like, I don't want to use a dishwasher. Like, it weirds me out. There's something uh, soothing to me about doing dishes. And we were doing something about, we were doing, I think we were recording a show. I think so. And the dishwasher went off. Like, just start it. Just start it. And, it. and it works. We put so much emphasis on that. Mm -hmm. Like, it freaked us out. Yeah, it meant something at the it time. It meant something at the time. Like, it was a it sign something or something. Yeah. And so we wanted to, and I think here's the thing. Look at that little halo around me. Look at it, see? 
I'm because of the light, just because mm -hmm. of the light, but it looks like I'm holy. Keep talking. <laughs> um, <laughs> exactly. We want my hound. We want um, to be touched. Right. We want we, we want, want it to mean something. The profound moment. Yeah. Um, and so are we just aware of things? And this is kind of going lead to the next segment after we address some of the questions we've got. Right. Power goes out. Like, batteries die all the time. And I think that we focus so much on that that we start to lose, like, why we're there. And, 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 it, and it becomes, do we drain the batteries? Does our energy, does yeah. our energy? Yeah, does our intent drain the batteries? Hmm, does interesting. it? Interesting. You know, and I think... <clears throat> okay, so then let's erase the whole power part of things. Let's okay. say that never happens or that doesn't really mean anything. It's just a coincidence. Okay. What about the other things that have happened? For example, mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember who commented. Doreen. 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 Um, about a plug physically coming unplugged. Can we go up? Should we go up to the... Uh -huh. Here we go. Yep. Do you want to read Doreen's? You, you always do. Okay. Doreen Bergeron. Question. Don't read the last name. Why? Just say Doreen B because maybe they, she doesn't want her whole name out there. They, this goes out to dozens of people listening to this show. It's a public forum. Okay. We won't say your name after Question. This. Living on Stephen Drive, I was alone at the house and had a fan running on medium while I was sleeping. Out of the blue, the plug comes out. Fan stops. She got up and plugged it back in and it happened again. And she was convinced it was something. Yeah. Um, Small mice living in her outlet no i mean <laughs> no. no but like no, yeah i mean just kidding it definitely i mean that's freaky have we ever had anything come physically unplugged yeah yeah i would say that we've we've had things our phones have been physically unplugged before uh lydia's um, hotel yeah 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 they i mean yes lydia's hotel if you haven't listened to those episodes yeah. get everything unplugged and stuff like that but i think we've had a lot more missing stuff that things actually come out Hmm. Um, like, wait a minute, I know I put this there mm -hmm. and it's not there and, and stuff like that. Um, Stephen Drive, I... What is, where is... I am, it's in Gosstown. Okay. Um, and, you know, Dan has a, Dan's her, Dan, Dan Bergeron. Mm -hmm. um, you've heard enough stories about Dan Bergeron. Sure. Um, has had enough I'll things about things. what might be going on in Stephen Drive. Um, there is a cemetery, um, and I hope I'm not speaking out of turn here but there's a cemetery that's right near there okay um his mother is buried in that cemetery mm. she died in that house in stephen drive um there's been other weird things that are associated with it in terms of it's and and if either dan or doreen are, are still on with us they can kind of correct me on some of these um at all uh but it's a house that's built into uh, a hill Oh, so you've it told was. Me about this it before. was right. It was designed yeah. to be economically safe. I'm assuming, and so, um, so there is there is this weird feng shui thing that it has with its environment that it seems like it would be an amazing conductor and keeper of energy. Hmm. You know, interesting observation. Um, it okay. Is, so if if some place were going to have unusual energy um, in it, I would say Stephen Drive would be. Would be it. Would, but would be what it. does the plug signify? What is the plug popping out? What is that? Is there something wrong with the fan what, electrically? What did she say? Her... trying to protect her. So we've got we've got uh, uh, Howie who says electrical. Oh, don't, it just got bumped down. Uh -huh. um, he says um, electrical reverse polarity may cause a plug to push out. You guys are rocking with this. Oh, we don't, I, mean, I didn't mean to read the compliment Thank part. You. Thank you. Um, so so I think what he's saying is that there's actually something that pushes the plug out. Um, did she say what the plug was what had into it? It was a fan. It was a fan. She had a fan plugged in. It popped out. It stopped. Right. She got up and she plugged it back in, and it happened well, again. And and here's and here's the thing: when when stuff like that happens, and once again, Your are question. We, wait, are we, we? Have you plugged it in since? You know, has it happened since? I think when it's an isolated event like that, then it's definitely like okay, right? It means something. It has some significance. Um. No, I agree. Well, and so what would be the significance? And so the biggest significance for me, if I'm looking at that, is it's probably the most noticeable thing in your house other than your TV, right? Or your mm -hmm. Like, if a fan goes off, you notice it. 
So it's not like I unplugged the VCR. Ha ha ha. Try to tape something. Right. Do people still use VCRs? No. That flash. That flashing. That TV always freaks me out. That flashing light will give away the my my presence. Um, but you know, I, I think that it's um, um, a fan is noticeable. Doreen said they moved. Right. <laughs> Just Actually, so you know. the answer to that. Um, so uh, uh, Miguel, hello Miguel, um, said uh, had two cameras shut off and was dead with batteries in both. New batteries. New batteries with both. Was operating one and a friend was operating the other. It happened within seconds of each other, changed batteries and was fine. Put batteries back in camera and left location and they worked no problem. And so what we have is, so, yeah. right, when you can take it out of it, um, that all of a sudden those things mean even more. Right. Right? Right. Um, because you're like, well, this worked perfectly fine here, but it didn't work fine here. Um, you know, we had, um, uh, if you go online, you can see it, the, the EVP from the Samuel West house where um, my camera died. So it's basically, if you've never seen it, I'll see if I can post it to this, <clears throat> but uh, like when we repost this, but you have Matt Moniz giving an explanation of EVPs and stuff like that. Hmm. And as he does, I'm literally taking my equipment out and he's like, oh, wow, look, he's like, he's so I think what he's doing is he's testing uh, uh, EMF. And he goes, so you can clearly see nothing's wrong with Chris. He has no EMF. And my camera drains, my video camera that I brought to it drains. Wow. And at the moment of the drainage, <laughs> you hear on the tape yelling from an EVP. Like, it's run, 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 run. Did you ever like clear it up to yes. see what it said? I can't remember word for word, but it has something to do with like this goddamn plate. Um, and then okay. uh, researchers, Andy Lake and, and, and someone else who I can't remember, discovered that there was a plane crash with fatalities that happened oh, like God. right near the property. And so it was this connection. And so therefore it made sense. Yeah. Right? So but that, I think. <clears throat> so that obviously was something right but what happens is, is those kinds of things happen enough that then when we look at like the lights went out you know we play with electricity all the time we have a reliability on it mm -hmm. but it's really not reliable like right. you know by the mere fact that your fire alarm battery always dies when you're trying to sleep right right mm -hmm. like lights don't work you turn on a light and it blows what is it gonna blow is it gonna blow this week is it gonna blow next week is it never gonna blow I bet you you've had – you've been in this house, what, like six years? Mm -hmm. I bet you have some lights here that have been, are six years old. And you have other ones that, like – I mean, it is unpredictable what – Not really. The lights in my house drain really fast. Do they really? Really fast. They're really fast. Okay, I why, have to always change Why couldn't you just agree with me so I made my point? <laughs> I guess my point is that other people can um, can say this, can, can feel like – for all of our reliability on electricity – it really doesn't um, – it's not consistent, right? Like how many right. times have I tried to do something? Like my, 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 I've got a Blu-ray player. You never know when that thing's going to work. It's like a 50-50 shot of whether the Blu-ray player Okay, but do work. you think it's, it's a different situation when you're actually – looking for something to me right but what happened like when you're when we're doing something like this and we're yeah. talking about the paranormal or if we're using the ouija board or if we're out on an on a trip and something like that happens where it's an isolated event at that point in time where it doesn't re reoccur while we're doing whatever we're doing right, but i don't think the blown light reoccurs either it just happens at that moment i don't know I don't, I don't know. know. What are you guys' thoughts on, on uh, Howie? Thank you very much for your question, and thank you very much for stopping by. Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to talk about, and if you, of course, if you have anything you want to like, go spurt on. No, I uh, go. Don't All right, I want to talk about one that um, that I almost revisited last week. Okay. I was really close to revisiting. Uh, Oak Ridge Cemetery. Oh. We didn't end up getting to do it because we were running late. And oh, da -da -da -da, I thought and we were late. We thought no, we didn't. We ate at the worst greasy spoon ever in the history of Florida. Aww. And it was called um, the skillet something. Sounds good. Right? Right. And there was a weird waitress. All right, wait, she was up. Ukrainian. They're not, they're not here to listen to okay. your eating story. <laughs> Keep going. You're ruining my flow. So Oak Ridge Cemetery, if you haven't, that was one of the very first things that we did. Um, 
Am I getting Oak Ridge Cemetery? Oak Hill, Oak Ridge, Oak, Oak Ridge, Ridge, Oak Ridge yeah. Cemetery. <clears throat> in Arcadia. In Arcadia, right? Florida. Mm -hmm. And Hi, Dan. And there was a uh, one of the stories involves the Union Jack. Okay. So right. for those of you guys who are such avid fans that you have all of our episodes memorized, uh, the cemetery houses or contains uh, 22 graves of 21 pilots from Britain who were training in the United States for the Air, Royal Air Force who died, like died like in training here. And then the grave of their commander who, when he died years later, asked to be buried with his men here. Mm -hmm. And it was a very, because we're very respectful of our servicemen and people who serve, um, yeah. we were extremely respectful. It was serene. It was. It was peaceful. Um, so we went there and we were listening to World War II music. We read the, the Poppy Field, Flanders Field, mm -hmm. and we put coins on all the graves. Yes. To show our respect for it. Mm -hmm. um, do you remember the most significant thing that happened in that part of the... Yes. Okay, go ahead. The Union Jack... Um, <laughs> While we were... Oh, we should say, do you, do you remember the, the legend of the Union Jack in the cemetery? Yes. Okay, so, so... The legend of the Union Jack was that sometimes it was there and sometimes it wasn't, meaning people would turn around and it was gone or it didn't show up in photos. There was something ghostly with the, with the flag. And so while we were there, and I think it was while we were listening to Flanders Field, right? Mm -hmm. Or while we were reading... The entire... Field. No, it was like the entire time we were there. The entire time that we were next to these graves, the Union Jack... Pole, the, the flagpole was going crazy. I mean, it was so loud. It was noticeable. Where, you know, that's cling, sometimes cling, just like cling, background cling. noise and you don't really notice it. But we were hearing it from other parts of the cemetery. Like it was loud. Mm -hmm. You know it's what I'm saying? Loud. Like right. I'm trying, what I'm doing is I'm looking off camera, I'm trying to get things. I posted everything we want to do. I posted in the picture of today's episode. Oh, neat. So I want to make sure I don't remember, forget yeah. anything. But go. So, okay, good, good. Well, I mean, while we were doing something, it was completely silent. Completely it The was entire like time we did everything it, stopped. it was almost time a, stopped. So I'm not going to give out, um, I'm not going to give out the names of this, but because there are people here uh, who were part of, there were people who were part of this experience, and it's not a ghostly experience, but... What experience? So, when I, w when I was a senior in high school, um, and there are people actually who could probably even confirm this, not that it needs to be confirmed, there was a suicide. Mm, okay. And um, the suicide was pretty devastating, and you and I have talked about this before, yeah. and its impact on me. And um, we went to Bigford's, so you have no idea what a Bigford's is. I'm gonna think guess of it, it's a diner. Think of it as Northeast um, Perkins. Okay. But I don't even know if you can't, but you could smoke there, so it was Got good. Got it, diner. Got it. High class diner. High class diner. Got it. And everything um, up north is high class. And so, well, I mean, per we went there, and we were just being together. Um. His sister was part of my class, so people from his class, my class, we were there. I mean, we pretty much were taking up the majority of the diner. And if Jen knows okay. what I'm talking about, that might have been what she commented. And at one point, I'm trying to remember it exact, so someone can correct me if they want, but I believe his sister had written something. Okay. And she had given it to a friend of hers to read to us. And so she said, can I have everyone's attention? And the music was playing. You know, it's typical. The music went off. She read the thing. The music went on. Hmm. Um, and nobody had Afterwards, them. we went and we thanked them for doing that. Mm -hmm. And they were like, what are you talking about? We didn't touch the music. Wow. I got goosebumps. And, right. And I think that that's what these moments are sometimes, are the goosebump moments was that something that just was, I mean, and at the time it seemed really, really significant. Right. Is it just, did how someone you, touch it? Did someone, you know what I'm saying? Like, did someone, different. did a waitress who we didn't talk to look at it? And yet the profound nature of it, like impacted all the people who were there when they hear that story. And like you said, you got goosebumps hearing it mm -hmm. 25, 30 years later. Um, 
What were you going to say? How can you not? Yeah, how can you not? How can you be in that moment and not think it's something? Or even listening to the story, how can you not think that it, it has some sort of significance? Well, right. And, and, but that's what happens right. is that I think that, that we then tell the story of it, and all of a sudden it becomes bigger because it becomes a story. Almost like we so do we legend. remember it? Right. We, I think that we often create legends of the things that we do that are like this. You know, and I've seen it happen um, in I've seen it happen in moments where I've been the observer of other people reporting what their experiences are. And they're like, oh, my God, you won't believe what happened. And, da, 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 da. and I'm like, all right, that's a little bit off. Not off enough that I would call you on it, but that didn't really happen. Oh, you know, it didn't really happen that way. Exactly. So are you saying that it's because of the faulty memory system of the human brain. I that think it's the things... selective memory of the human brain. I'm checking your power. Interesting. We are still at 42. Now it's plugged in, but we're still losing power. So it's something about your house that sucks. Um, I think draining. that you're so draining. <laughs> um, I think that it's definitely something where where it we're creating a narrative. And so those things. Do you think tend people to, tend to remember their their incidents incorrectly? I mean, when when they're in groups, though. What do you guys think? Do you guys think people tend to remember and embellish and embellish to... and and those things become the proof of, of stuff that happened, right. and then over you know it's it, and it's it's not necessarily the game of it's almost like tele, the game of telephone with your own brain, like you want these things to be significant. <clears throat> do you observe things that are not that way? I remember, uh, mm -hmm. for example. Big deal used to be shadows. They still are. Right? Like, what are the shadows doing? What are the shadows doing? There was a hooded and figure people, behind us. There was a hooded figure behind us. No, and it was like, and I remember that used to be the big telltale sign that something was there when we did the Ouija board. It's mm -hmm. like, what are the shadows doing? Um, the exaggerative, exa can you pronounce that word? Because that's, that's, that's the, exaggerative. The exaggerative memory. Yeah. And, yeah. and But here's the thing I think we've convinced ourselves of that in the moment. I think we've convinced ourselves of that significance and we, you know, and we were talking about the devil's street, like all that stuff, really not that unusual. It was too. Yeah, the demonic stuff afterwards and the phone ring, maybe like the, but the and idea like the of ruins of houses that nobody can explain the inexplicable things. I'm not saying it's not a screwy place. What right. I'm saying is we put so much significance on our car troubles. Do I have that car still? No. Did that car ever not have car trouble? That car had some problems. That car had sure. that car had more problems yeah. than a middle aged man. Um, and Dan, oh, I just want to read what Dan yeah. said. Memories are the truth of what we wanted them to be. I agree, Dan. I agree. Yeah, but is it collectively shared? So, for example, when Chris and I go somewhere and we tell a story of something that's happened that we feel is significant, are we both? just collectively remembering it wrong and putting more significance on it or are and, and here's and here's the thing and and, and it goes to do with the, the transfer of it right so when we are transferring information do i convince you that you experienced something that you didn't experience no okay so right if we go to the tape the tail of the tape and i know that i i know that i was wrong but i just want to use it as an example okay you said I see butter. I see lightning bugs. Right. And I said, I see a ton over here. Right. And I said, I see a ton over here because I wanted to get that. I also see them, but I said, I see a ton. Okay. Then you said, I see two. And I said, I see two, two. Okay. Right. And so in other words, we were influencing each other because you were like, I see two and you were putting significance on it. And I was like, you know what? If I think about it, I saw two, two. I didn't see a ton. I saw two. Oh, so I influenced so you. So you influenced me. Bah. Bah. Did you think I was going to hit you, hit you? Yeah. I was going to go like I this did. and you're like, no, not again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right? Like. Oh, interesting. I wonder how right? many and times I think, that happened. And I think that that's happened before with us, you oh. know? And I think that because I never dreamed, but when you were talking about your devil's tree dreams, then all of a sudden I was like, I think I dreamed too. Hmm. Um. And I do think, like Miguel says, that some experiences are imprinted in your mind, you know, and they and they have significance, but are they imprinted the right way, right? Or is it that moment just before the cast is set when it's still wet a little bit where something or someone or some desire that you have, something that happens later on, you then look back and you say, 
oh my god like do you remember when this and this happened too with it remember that how do you differentiate between the two because i can think of I don't think you can. several that are like Go ahead, hugely like impacting like my cardinal story yeah the yeah, cardinal the, the that came are to, huge with the, the cardinal yeah. that came to visit me inside my office right that's never happened before and it's never happened since it's an isolated incident yeah it meant something my grandfather had just died right you know what right, i'm right. saying or grand, grandma so just like the lock story that we told last week with the golden retriever like, yeah when so this was a bird it, i mean it there are certain events that happen that you're just like that it has to be something or somebody trying to reach out trying to get a message across of something do you remember what happened um do you remember what happened before i went to the devil's tree that morning God, no. We were talking about what we were going to be doing, and Stairway to Heaven came on. We were in the diner in Stairway look, to Heaven. Look, see, see how significant it was for her that yes. she, like, okay, how often does Stairway to Heaven come on the radio? All the time. The odds of Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> and yet, at the time, it was like, oh, it's a sign. We, and to the point that we even said to the kid, we are like, the Stairway to Heaven. It was like... <laughs> What the hell are you weirdos talking about? Well, because when we got there, there was a mysterious there stairway was, that nobody had mentioned there were before. Steps. It was not a. It stairway. was a stairway. It was, it was um, a concrete stairway. I wanted to bring up uh, uh, two other pieces okay, of go. evidence. Hurry up, because we're running out of time. <clears throat> okay, we're running out of time. You got a date or something? I do. Uh, <clears throat> my head. <laughs> <laughs> two other um, significant things that were evidence for us. One is the Silver Springs moving door. The video of the moving door. Oh God, yeah, the bathroom. Look at her eyes are huge again. Well, there's certain It's a wind that tunnel. It's a wind tunnel. Nope. Okay, nope. go ahead, explain Explain the no, door. No, it, it's not, it's not, it's not a wind <coughs> tunnel. It's not a wind tunnel because I was in the bathroom and the other door was open, mm -hmm. like propped open, like open, open. There's no way that it could have been a wind tunnel. Did we experiment it with it? Yes. How many times? I don't know. I don't remember. Exactly. But when we tell the story, we're like, and we tried to get it over again. Are we lying? We tried, right? We tried to get it done, but yeah. we make it seem like it's more than it is, right? Now, did it have the scratchy scratch scratches, which seem to follow us around? Once again, something that's very significant to us. Um, the other is... I mean, pre the door moving where the scratchy yeah. scratch scratches to get my attention to the door. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it meant. Well, see, okay, but good. So we're working on cause and effect in class, right? But it's, <laughs> so it's only after the fact that we look at what that experience happened that we start to put significance on the steps that took us to it. Well, what do you Does mean? Does that there's, make sense? No, because there's so what took us to the scratching. What brought us to that door? Like, so you just said the things that brought us to that door. What were the only things the that brought us to that door? The scratching. You said in addition to the scratching, all the things that brought us into no, that. No, 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 no. That's not what I said. Okay. What'd you say? I said, before the door moving, it was the scratching oh, that okay. brought us okay. to the door, okay. right? We had already been in that hallway. We're in a long hallway where there's artifacts and things at Silver Springs. Great place if you haven't been to go. Um, oh, I thought I was wearing my Silver Springs you're shirt. You're not wearing Scooby-Doo. It's, it's, like it's Scooby adorable. Um, it, and then we heard it, the... Right, which we've heard here. Which we've heard here on, on my kid's bedroom door. So it meant something that I heard it again. Right. It was just very random. So... So, and that's what you know, and, I, and, I, and for us, it was extremely profound. Yeah. It's something can be extremely profound, or whether profound is the thing, I don't know. But I'm not sure in retrospect what it, if it was something, right? Like, even it's a after bathroom. we heard the stories of the ghosts in the bathroom? Well, see, that's what happens, right? Is that you then, when you hear something, it takes on even more significance. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if we would have dismissed it. If there hadn't been stories attached to the bathroom as well. We didn't know the stories attached to the bathroom. But we know it now, is what I'm saying. Like, we obviously were experiencing something we thought it was big, could be explained. Mm -hmm. We thought it was big, but then when we heard the bathroom stories, it was, all of a sudden was like, oh, this is 100%. Okay, so we need so, to send this to the great uh, so Randy I think, to get I think that dollars. goes to Miguel because he said, how about shared experiences? Well, when you start talking to people about what you've experienced and they've experienced something similar in the same location, Right. It then has to become something, right? But it, right? It, but it can't just become something. It has to be something. It becomes, that's, and that's what I'm saying. It, we put it significance is something, on it. Yes. Um, I don't know how to solve this problem of that. So I think it's it's I think it's more of do you guys think those things are intentionally put in our way or whether we make them up ourselves? I guess is the question. 
that if we were having a poll question, so when we put this back up, oh, have you seen? Poll. Have you seen? I like, whenever I post the videos on Tripping on Legends, I always put a poll in them. No, no, and eh, should I bring up the site sometime? <laughs> um, so the the next thing that's kind of with that, and I think we have conflicting views on this. Wait, 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 quick. Miguel asked, "Does that influence the narrative?" Yeah, it does. Absolutely, it does. Because when we tell that story, and then what happens is we tell we tell that story. And then all of a sudden, the boat that is yards away becomes more significant because the boat is a real Native American boat that was found in the water at Silver Springs. Mm -hmm. And so what we do is Talk we about make a dugout canoe. Just in case. Is it a dugout? I thought it was. A, I thought it was a. What did I say? A boat. A boat. A boat. Right. A dugout. Um, we we connect that narrative. Mm -hmm. Right. So we say. And the reason why she's there is because. is because her boat. And you know whose boat it is? The chick that jumped off, whose name I can't remember. Delilah? No. Um, no, Beatrice, Beatrice Mayo. No, his May name is Bernice. His Bernice name is Bernice. Her name was Claire. 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 is a medicine. <laughs> but and I was thinking yeah. it was a Native American one. Because remember, there's a Native American oh, no, no. one. It was not. Winona was not on the boat. Oh. Winona was one of the. No, Winona was the. Anyway, we say it's her. Right. Right. So it does impact the narrative because now when we tell that story, she is stuck in that bathroom <laughs> because her boat's here, and so that's her moving back and forth to the mm -hmm. boat. You know, we, we also the fact that one of the girls working there saw a Native, saw a Native American, American ghost. right? So we're saying that Native American is the same right. one. Yeah. Why are you? Sorry. <laughs> That was really bad for you. <laughs> um, cut that out? And then, and then the, the next one, that wouldn't be paying attention anymore. The next one, <laughs> the next one that's like that is you know, the narrative is the, is the, is the, the boy and the, and the man uh, at Arbuckle Creek, mm. who we've associated with, that must be the man who made the deal and the son who died when he was a kid because his soul was, his soul was promised to the witch. You know what I'm saying? So we've kind of added that narrative to it. Mm -hmm. Key West. The lighthouse. Lighthouse. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the bit of evidence we got from there? No. No. So. Wait, time out. I kind of remember you saw something, but I didn't feel or see anything at all. N n no, no. But. So I was taking pictures, and I will, pu I will put this. When we post this episode, we're going to have to put all the videos to, the, to this evidence. We'll really do it up. <laughs> when he says we're, he's going to do it. <laughs> Meaning me. And you're going to go, wow, that was interesting that you told me about that because I didn't even see it. Is that significant? No, that's my okay. daughter talking. I, I know. So we're in, we're in Tripping on Legend South. So I was taking pictures of the museum within the lighthouse mm -hmm. or next to the lighthouse. It's not in the bottom of the lighthouse. It's, it's, lighthouse. Next it's the lighthouse. It's the lighthouse. house. It's the lighthouse house. Thank yeah. you. And I'm taking pictures. I'm taking pictures. We got it. Things. Yeah. I'm building up momentum. I got it. And all of a sudden, I'm, I check the pictures afterwards. Mm -hmm. And one and only one picture, for some random reason, switched to video. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. but I don't and know so there, is, there are two seconds of video. That video. Is a picture of a dress, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, and it captures the, the 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 promotional video being played in the background of the museum. Okay. Do you don't remember this at all? No. And the two in the two seconds that it captures, it says the spirit. Do you don't oh, remember this? Spirit. The spirit. It, it goes, yes, I the remember. The spirit. Yeah, I remember. And then that's it. And to me, that was like. We were talked to. I've got sausage fingers, right? Maybe I messed up the pictures for like one frame. It's only a little bit of a slide. The button's right there, but it meant so much at the time. I don't really remember. And I tell slide. that story like, to people, and people of, go like, like, "Yeah, whatever." And you're obviously not even impressed, and you were there. No, you're I don't, like five feet from me. I don't remember the significance of it. Like but I remember just, being it, there. Like but... it said now. Now obviously it wasn't a it wasn't a voice from beyond the grave. It was a voice from a. Uh, VCR over there. 
a um, VCR. Is it, it was a VCR. I checked. It was a VCR <laughs> showing a tape. It was. You're fine. We're going to call them and prove that. But it captured just two seconds. But it could have been any two seconds that my sausage fingers did that. The spirit. The spirit. But did anything else happen? Did you think anything else happened? I don't know. But it was no, supposedly haunted. Like, it's got stories right. of hauntings and stuff like that. So it was a significantly haunted place. And that, and to me, for weeks, I was obsessed with, can I get a copy of the video so I can see where that, where it says that? Does it even actually say it on the video or is it just da 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 And it meant so much to me, but was I making something out of it that it wasn't? You know? Hmm. And how you know, do you like, could quantify it have been, when it's, Something and, I, and when it's not, something. and I think it right, and I think it mixes with uh, that mixes with this idea um, of do we take evidence, especially EVP evidence, and have it mean stuff that we want it to mean, right? Mm. So yes and no. I think that okay, we I think that we can. I th are we guilty of doing that? Are you? Do you think we're guilty of doing that? Now I'm a, I'm the majority of the person who does that, right? So I'm the majority. Of, I present things to you. Uh, usually, and I but, say, "Do you hear this?" And usually, go in yeah, now or yeah, yeah. Right. But like, I've and, obviously already influenced what what I think it says to you. But, but no, but we've done the we've done the complete opposite of that, where you've played something and you're like, "What does it say?" And I have to give you what I hear, which I don't have EVP ears or whatever they're they're called. Well, I think you get pretty good EVP ears. I'm not very good at that, but when they're really strong, for example, Lydia's hotel. Mm -hmm. Water, you know, the the, talking the, about your fashion. I mean, things like that were very, very. Clear. Where the girls insult me, that's usually what it. After molesting him. Right, but also remember in Shiloh, same trip, Shiloh, like that one who we think might be Schaefer voice, like totally like. See, I don't you, get that. Though. Calling you a bitch and a whore. You can't say that on Facebook Live. I can say there bitch, might be kids watching. Because she some raises point. dogs. Um, bitch and whore and water, water. Yeah, but I didn't really hear those. Remember that. Like, that's one that I... Yeah, but I've played it for you. I've played the water, water, water one for you. Yes. Let me take it to another degree. Not to cut you off, but let me cut you off. I'm used to it. <laughs> take, it to, take it to another degree. Mayaka State Park. Okay. The banging. I mean, I think that's huge. I think that's hugely significant. You didn't even let me finish. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so, we have a recording that we found um, the morning of a presentation. Because I wanted to find, can we, did we, we're able to get, for those of you guys who, who haven't listened to the episode, we were trying to contact a skunk ape. And we found a metal cage, a hog cage. Not just a skunk ape. Well, right, and other ghosts that might have been there and right. blah, blah, blah. But I mean, for the for what this was, I think we were trying to more talk to the skunk ape mm -hmm. because we were knocking on trees. We were doing tree knocking. Mm -hmm. And so Natalie and Ella get out of the car and they knock three times. Thump, thump, thump. And... For the rest of the trip, no matter where we went in the park, we kept hearing cling, cling, cling. I think it's important to notate that it knocked back to us. At the moment. At the moment. At the moment, right, right. Listen, the episode's good. The thing I want to talk about is of all those times that it knocked, when we had pretty much the audio running the whole time, we were only able to get kind of kind of it on tape once right and the the recording that we got was ella saying something the knocks mm -hmm. and then you saying did you get that mm -hmm. and knock did you get that and the only way we know that there are knocks there are is because you react to it and say we, did we get the knocks? Did we get the knocks? And everybody, I mean, collectively, it was a shared experience. Everybody heard it. Oh, yeah. like There was four people there that had the same exact experience. Right. And it meant something. It meant something. However, what I'm talking about is the audio evidence, because if you listen to it, Ella's voice is 100% clear. Your voice is 100% clear. And then when it gets to the part where the knocks are in between, or... Oh, really? And oh, then you wow. go, did you get that on tape? That's crazy. Right? I have and to so, listen to that. And so we've put such a significance on the fact that the audio mm -hmm. is all messed up in that area as being significant too. You know? So that's kind of, you know, that, that same kind of thing is like, yeah, but when you listen, like, does it sound metallic other times when we do things? I guess it kind of does. 
you know, but that meant it meant more to it that it was messed up than if it actually like we had actually heard the the clanging. I don't think so. You don't think so? The no. fact that it could you don't think the one part in that audio, that little conversation, your voice is clear, her voice is clear, and the clanging is all messed up as if we were not meant to record it means anything? I think the clanging means more. I don't know. I think the clanging that at that moment meant more to us. 100%. At the moment. I'm talking about after the fact. Well, it still is after more the significant fact when you're like, for me because I experienced that. You experienced once and the experience to you is more than the... Right, but I think it adds to the experience like, and then the clanging was all messed up. Yeah, but I think that that's just... I don't know. I think I call BS. I call BS like if I'm a listener. Wait, on what part is BS? Like if I'm a listener and I'm like, oh, well, you did right the clanging. You know, like did it really happen? I think that the actual experience of it like happening meant more. Like if we faked more. it? Yeah. Like so that that's is all faked. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna do one quick one. Okay, go. And oh, why do you have something to? A date with my bed. Okay, so you don't, I thought you wanted to bring up another thing. Well, I was going to bring up Caritian. Go ahead. What do you mean with Caritian? Well, Caritian, we had a lot of experiences there. And it was shared by seven people, whatever, you know. Right. And they all experienced the same thing. Did it mean something? No more than it was just a presence of something. I think with the really significant uh, potential, like us putting meaning on something that didn't have meaning was we were like, it was the school thing, and it was in threes, and it was like, yeah, you know, those kinds of like, which is more, maybe more of like the sign, like making up signs where there are no signs. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I totally agree with you, which segues perfectly into our, our oh, final good. thing. Good. What is this thing? Having, in a... Having an acknowledgement of the sound is pretty cool with the knocking. But right. Yes, it is, Miguel. It is, yes. Acknowledgement, not just the experience, but the acknowledgement. And then I when that like... acknowledgement gets messed up, it's even better. Okay, keep going. It's kind of like, oh, do you Let's remember? Let's stop looking at you. Do you remember? Wait, do you remember contact? With Jodie Foster? Yes. Yes. Do you remember at the end when it's like, it's not that she recorded nothing, it's that she recorded 30 hours of nothing. Right. Kind of like that. That's true. But not. Okay, so we have been doing this for how long? Three, th over three years. Oh, yeah, I haven't even known you for over three years. We've been doing it for like two years. Oh, really? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. okay. Do you remember the first night we recorded? And do you remember what was our inspiration for yes, recording? Yes, the, the three knocks. The it's three funny knocks. that you just said that. That, that was the, that's why I said that's it was a, a segue. A segue. That's what a segue means. Go ahead, explain the three knocks. Okay, so I'm very, I'm very new relatively to the world of the paranormal besides my You were 100%. Yeah, you were 100% virgin. Right, besides my own experiences. Um, which we know from this house and other places are, are very strong. And Chris was letting me listen to the EVPs. It was my first time listening to from EVPs. From the Samuel West house. From the Samuel West house. That uh, Mike Markowitz had recorded. I just and, want to give credit where credit's due to what we were doing. And they were very, very difficult for me to understand. And I think I was getting a little frustrated. And something, we had said something, and then all of a sudden there were three loud ass knocks at Chris's front door. And we're talking this was in the middle of the night, right? Like we were up it was, till it was eleven o'clock. Eleven, was, twelve o'clock. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was late. And it, it both it freaked us both out. And I think that you were like, it's kids. Kids from my middle school are here. <laughs> I automatically assumed like some 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 uh but some I mean ruffians it was, were messing with us. Nothing else happened. I mean we had <clears> the <throat> windows open too because it was mm -hmm. fallish. Yeah, cause it, would, it would have happened right after we went to Venice. Yeah. Because that was the moment we were like, you Let's know what? Let's do this, yeah. That's our sign to start tripping on legends. Right. And so it was fall. Yeah. October, November. It was it November. Been, it November. Been, it would have been pre-Christmas. So. so cooler outside. Not crazy cool, but still enough to leave the yeah. windows open. And Cape Coral is a pretty windy place. And I say that because we were only about 10 feet away from his front door, and four big windows were open that are next to the front door. And there was no rustling. There was no nothing. Yeah. And that, by the way, that door opens frequently. The wind blows that door open frequently. If I don't lock it, hmm. it flies I didn't know open. that. And sometimes I've like come home or woken up, like I didn't lock the door, and I've woken up to the door being open. That's freaky. Well, right. And, but it's like a significant Oof. thing. Like it seemed completely understandable. Mm -hmm. that's so three loud knocks, bang, 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 bang. And boom, we boom. took it as 
but it was bum 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 like someone was knocking. Right, exactly. Right. I mean, it was clearly knocking. It clearly wasn't bum 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 like a like a bang on the door. Right. And explainable, not explainable, but it sparked us doing this. It did. It, it did. It freaked us out enough to where we were like, okay. Of course, we then spent cool. five hours trying to figure out how to record rather than just hitting. Right. Rather than just hitting record on this, like putting microphones in, mm -hmm. but it started the show. So I thought it might it would be a good example a good for us to too. end the show yeah. tonight. Um, Anything else that you want to add before we go? I don't know whether I should talk about Elvis. Go find the Evan Starr. Yeah. I haven't started yet. You absolutely should. Okay. I think by the time that, by the time. So for those of you guys who follow me as a person and not me as a, as a, as a legend tripper. I, was um, I thought you were going to say celebrity. As a celebrity. <laughs> Um, my daughter this weekend won um, her Odyssey of the Mind tournament. Um, Ragtag blew a bunch of kids, went into Orlando. And this was the Nationals. This was, was the, the world. state. Oh, state. This okay. was the state. They won the state championship. Um, they beat, Which is huge. Right. They beat 14 other teams. I was working. I was just telling you this. I was working at the loading dock watching the other groups go in saying, oh, my work. Like, our team, there's no way we would beat yeah. that. Like. They have lightsabers and laser light shows that they created themselves, and this dude's Aww. dressed up like that. And our kids won. And so, what are you doing? Just checking the battery. Keep oh, going. okay. 27. 27. But it's plugged in. Yeah. Okay, so that's just a weird thing that's like not. Um, not I don't know if it's. Amazing. My phone is plugged into the very same. Yeah. And I, it's been charging just fine. Maybe it's your computer. <sighs> Maybe it's your computer. <laughs> I'm talking about my daughter. All right, keep going. Uh, and so um, it's going to cost $6,000 to get the team to Michigan. The finals, the, the worlds, they're called the world finals, are in Michigan <clears throat> Michigan on my birthday. Um, and so they have a week to come up with the money. One week. One week. And so they are hitting up everything to try to do it. Um, one of the things that I'm going to be doing in the next day or so is setting up a GoFundMe. So the GoFundMe will be set up by the time this episode is posted. All right, post place, things. yeah. And so I'm going to have a link to it. Um, Al, you know Ella from Tripping on Legends with Kids? You've seen a lot of the documentary work that her and I have done. Other than the fact that these are seven kids from a Title I school, and I don't know if you know what a Title I school, but it's a school that um, at least 73%, I think, has to be, 73% of the population have to be uh, on free and reduced lunch. In other words, they're poorer communities. So below the poverty level is what that essentially means. 75 Poverty is difficult, to, but, but yeah, like. No, I mean, but, honestly, and, and Ella is one of the great, bright young minds that's going to do something it's an wonderful amazing school. with her life. It's, it's the North Fort Myers Academy of the Arts. And yeah, it's, it's a great the, school. It, the focus on the arts there is amazing. And these yeah. kids went in there, and, and they don't know if they're even going to be able to go to Worlds because of it. Um, and so we're and so we're trying to do all these things, but I want to do a private GoFundMe, and then be able to present money for them. Right. For this, um, so I'm going to be starting GoFundMe to get Ella and her team to go to um, to go to Worlds. So if you're a fan of Ella, if you're just a supporter of us, this is something that will make us very happy. I would love to go to Michigan to in, look into the Pukwaji situation in Michigan. My son was hilarious. You're he said, looking at me like I'm not going. Why are you not going? You can come with us to I Michigan. I got shit to do. Whatever. Like you've got kids. Like they've got other people in their lives. Just like drop them off somewhere. You just Anyways, put a salt lick in the middle. As he of it. please as he contribute. This, I guess is what I'm saying. Well, go ahead. Not only contribute, but let's share. Let's make it go viral. We see how quickly these things go viral. People asking for things. We don't ask for anything ever. Yeah, we don't even have like a guy. Patreon page or something like that. Right. Like, we don't have anything. Right. So it would just be, it would be nice for, to see these, these. These are kids who deserve it. And absolutely. And having talked to some of the mothers uh, and some of the, well, really just some of the mothers. Um, <laughs> there, shut up. There's uh, this idea of like, this is, this is a tragedy that these kids might not be able to uh, with all the work that they put in and everything like that. Um, I'm not allowed to really post a lot. I can't post like the pictures of what they did and stuff like that. I can post some of the post pictures when I'm working on stuff. And the news it's really picture, like yeah. in the news picture and things like that. Um, I think it's. I and think my ex-wife should... has done some stuff as well. I think you should but... maybe even just do a showcase of each member on the team, just a little bit about each child. Well, I can't. It's, no, Don't it's do Ella's. Names, but... No, it's Ella's private one. 
because then if I sit to the other kids, then it becomes a school issue, and there's all these legal things and stuff really? like purchase orders and all this weird stuff. So I'm going to be starting uh, one for Ella. Wow. Uh, we're going to try to get as much as we can in the first week because $5,000 is due next week, next Friday. Um, and so if we can get something where we can at least be like, no, we've got this here. We can just donate it. Right. But we're going to try to work it out. So if you can contribute, please contribute, and I'll appreciate that, and we'll figure out a way to reward people who do. Can't think of something. Are you gonna sing? <laughs> I will sing. I will no, Natalie will sing because I sing all the time. You never sing. And on that note, good night. I'm Wait, Natalie are we gonna give like are we gonna do like our how to get in touch with us and stuff like that? Or are we just gonna Facebook. leave them naked? Come on, they know. Account? If they're watching us, they know how to get in touch with us. <sighs> Facebook at facebook.com backslash tripping on legends. On Twitter, I am at spooky balzano. I'm at Nay Nay, my friend. Uh, the twi uh, Instagram account is spooky tripping, mm -hmm. and also our email spooky tripping at gmail.com. And tripping on legends.wordpress.com is our website. website. Please go to wherever you get your podcasts. If you've noticed, if you are a podcast subscriber, we've been putting the video ones up as well. Um, and you can get them as both video and audio. So if you don't like to cool. see our faces, you can just listen to our voices. And if you don't like no, our voices, you, you can just. We make such great mm -hmm. facial expressions. We do really do. Um, try when you record it and you can like see the look at the thumbnails. So like the picture I posted about like, oh, we got messed up. Do you know how many like times I had to stop it and try to find one where one of us wasn't like this? <laughs> and the other one's like, oh. and then I would be like this, and you would be like, Rrr. and then you would be like, oh. and I would be like, boo, boo, boo. It was I am like so guilty. So all the time of looking like this. <laughs> but it was so funny trying to find a screenshot of that video where we both didn't, where we both looked like humans. <laughs> oh, you're not going to be able to find one in this one. No. no. All right. And I would also like to know if you're still watching, is the hooded figure still here? I would like to know that. And on that note, I'm Natalie Christ. I am Christopher Balzano. May all your trips be, be legendary. Legend. Le wait, I should look at the camera when I do that. You should. Do you want to do retake? Yeah. Okay. Am I looking at the camera? I can't really see myself. You are. Okay. You are. Ready? Okay. Yeah. May all your trips be legendary. That was way too, that was much, way emotion too, much, there. too much emotion there. Is that what I press right here? What? Yes. The one that says end live video? <laughs> yes. And you have to hit that one or else it doesn't work. Remember? Remember we were.